Thank you for joining me on this week's episode of Centonomy Abundant Living. Trust yourself again. That's what I want to talk about today, the aspect of self-doubt. I remember this one time, I was really excited. I saw this opportunity applying a master's somewhere in Spain in a really nice school. And when I looked at the opportunity and the program, I felt this was the right program for me. So there I was applying. I called my mentor, told him I need you to refer me. He wrote me a very nice reference letter and later I submitted the application. A couple of weeks later, I got an email telling me, Sheba, we'd like to Skype with you for an interview. I'm like, yay, a couple of more steps to success and in getting into this amazing school. Unfortunately, a few weeks later after the interview, I received a rejection letter. Not fun to receive. And I felt so sad. I felt almost depressed. But let me not use that word today. It's for another whole day. Have you ever been in a situation where you felt like at that point you were good enough? For example, you were right for that job. You are right for that school. You are right for that role. You are even right to get that client. But then unfortunately things happen and things don't go your way. And then you sit back and you feel, I might it's because I don't deserve it. You start doubting yourself. That's what I want us to talk about today. Trust yourself again. What are some of the things you can do so that even in these moments of self-doubt, you can call yourself back and say, I'm good enough, I'm bad that I'm feeling this way, but I can get myself back again. Number one, nurture yourself and take a break. What I mean by this is sometimes when you doubt yourself, a couple of things happen. And it's sometimes emotional, psychological. You stop eating properly. You stop hydrating. You stop doing the normal things you've been doing. Get yourself back together. Nurture yourself. Take care of yourself so that you can get back again to applying for that job, even a better job. Applying for that school, even a better school. Or even looking for a better client because it's possible don't forget yourself number two start connecting with others and you know sometimes when you doubt yourself you can be in different situations maybe you are sick maybe different things happen to you connect with people who can bring you back to your better self for example call your coach call your mentor we talked about mentors a while back so that you can open yourself up and you can listen to their advice because it could come through for you even call a good friend and that's why i've said a good friend a friend who encourages you who reminds you that you're good enough who encourages you and even becomes an accountability partner for you last but not least balance the negative Sometimes when you're in a doubtful situation, the negative things look like you can write a whole list of negative things. I'd like you this time to try this new tact I tried out. I wrote down all the negative things that I felt or that I was going through at that time, but then I chose to balance it with another positive things. For example, write five things that you have learned five positive things that you have learned from that experience. For example, in my example, I wrote down, I learned how to interview even better because I was mumbling all the way. I wasn't very clear about my thoughts. I also learned how to write better, a better cover letter because I realized that that cover letter was not speaking well about myself. So I'd like you to balance the negative with positive things, things that you have learned, things that are even positive about yourself and that brings you back to starting to trust yourself and dealing with self-doubt. Self-doubt is normal but if you work on it, if you balance it out, if you nurture yourself, if you connect with the right people, you're able to get back to the good person that you are. See you again next week and let's live abundantly.